Don't you ever tell me what to do. New bottle. you give Mr. Badger beer? Sure. Sure. One beer. Coming up. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Mr. Badger. It's been a real pleasure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It has been a real pleasure. Thank you. 
lust are the same to him Like being raped by the devil His kind of love can only bring you sin And his arms can only bring you evil I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah. Howdy. Yeah. The trouble you put some water? Some something to drink? There's a pump out yonder. Thank you. The uh, out around the back of the barn. Thank you kindly. Hospitality at its best. Your kind ain't water around here. Some people don't know when they're well off. What are you going to do now? Here's some tape. Use it. Bring him in here. The keys are in the back room. Watch him.
Don't worry. You'll ask for it before I take it. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. It ain't a phone call. Oh. Look, wait, wait a minute. I left my blade inside. Excuse me. Are you all right, honey? I'm fine, Dad. I just want to change my clothes. Please let the sheriff handle it, Mark. Tom Harris is a nice guy, but he could no more handle those two than Mary. Come on, Ollie. Mark. Mark! Where's your rifle? Darling, you'll not be able to find them even if you knew where they were headed. Dad, I think Mom's right. Shut off the car. By the way, Dunn, back at the ranch? You were terrific. <laughs> Come here, baby. Hi. <laughs> hey, Parrish wants to see you right away. Good. I want to see him, too. Oh, son, go get Big Jack and Beetle and tell him what happened. Got it? Right. Give me five. <laughs> hey, Prophet, where the hell you been, man? Look, man, you got a cover for me. 
Had a little trouble, some dude tried to rip me off. That's all right, your ass is covered, no problem. But that ain't it, though, man. We got bigger problems right here. Look, uh, I gotta go see about my hustle. Old man's gonna throw us out. Why? What for? Patch came by with some shit about us not making enough money. That's bullshit. I'll talk to him. Hey, man, ain't gonna do no good to talk to the dude. He's really throwing us out because of you and that white chick. I mean, he's given us a routine about something else, but that's exactly where it's at. Redneck honky. Right out of the dark ages. Hey, man, look. She's just another town, and there are millions of towns. I like her. Besides, Mr. Charlie runs enough of my life as it is. What about yours? Hey, we can always go back out on the street. Yeah, we can try to get over to Get on over! Okay. I'll file this first thing in the morning. File it, hell. Oh, now, Mark, we'll get them, I told you. Just take a little time. What with all these weirdos in town for the carnival and all. Oh, you and I could have got them ourselves. Ah. What do you think of all this? I just got home, Tom. I don't want to think about it. That's the idea. Mark, you ought to take after your boy. Oli? Oli is a member of this community. I just want to tell you how proud we all are of you. And we were fixing to have a little get-together. And we will have it whenever you're ready. Anything else? No, no, that'll do it. I gotta meet some mommy buddies that are coming in on leave. They've never seen Arizona. Ollie! Uh, Dora Adams called. She wants to come over to dinner. Sure, Dad. Sure. Well, well, I gotta be going too. Now, now, Mark, don't you worry. We'll get him. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Yeah. Sure. Everywhere you look, you see victims of society. So many lonely people in these lonely, lonely times. Just breathe the fear in their eyes. Come on, man. 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 Give them to me. Both of them. Take it easy, man. Easy. Easy. You know what would happen if these were traced us? Dump them. Dump them. Dump them. Hey, those medals belong to Oli Hand. I don't care about no Oli Hand. Look, honey, don't mess with that guy. I went to school with him. He's like a legend around here. Legend? I ain't got time to worry about no legend. I got problems of my own. Like, uh, how are we gonna make some heavy bread? Relax, man. Something will turn up. Yeah? I don't see you and Big Jack getting rid of your hustle. We're leaving when this show closes, just like you. That's right, Bob. What about you, man? Eh, uh, I'm with you guys. Dan? Oh, done. He's done. <laughs> Bill, well, I ain't the one who got fired. You really want to know why I got canned? Yeah, I'd like to know. Tell me. I mean, you really want to know? Dick, lay it on me, mother. Because I'm sensitive, intelligent, and black. And a no holes on motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, you got it. Imports and exports. How's that? Back to the midnight auto supply. Hey, look, I gotta go. It's not going to be any trouble, is there? Oh, of course not. We're just having some fun. I mean, I even got another job all lined up. 
A lot shorter hours and a lot better pay. Oh, hey, that's great. Everything's going to be okay. Okay. I don't want anyone talking in front of her. Everyone got that? We get something together and move on. Uh, you taking her? Maybe. But nobody tells her nothing until she has to know. Understood. Norton? Do you want something? Yes, I'll have, uh, let's see. Gin, whiskey, wine. I'll have a glass of water. Say, can, can someone tell me how I get on Highway 81 that connects with the Sonora Highway to Mexico? 81 is the Sonora Highway. Oh, 81 is the Sonora Highway. I get it. Oh. You guys on the bum? Carney people. Oh. Your hearse outside, right? Right. Ah. Boy, being free. <laughs> you know, I used to ride a motorcycle. <laughs> I don't anymore. I don't have any kids, just a niece. But if I had kids, you know what I tell them? Be free. Boy, there's nothing like that nude open road and all that power between your legs and your guts. Oh, boy, I'm telling you. Well, gotta go. Is there a campsite nearby? Yeah, right down the road. Right down the road. Right down the road. Yes, sir. See you, fellas. <laughs> Let's check <laughs> out this dirt. <laughs> Nice equipment. Nothing but the best. More great ways to get away. Must be worth a lot of money. Oh, it's the best. How about that campsite? Oh, yes. Three miles down the road. Mm -hmm. Turn left, you go a mile and a half in. Beautiful area, very private. Oh, thanks a lot. You bet. Bye. I'll be see you later. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. How much? Ten grand American. Lots of buyers and no questions asked. We gonna have any trouble getting it across the border? No problem. They won't uh, complain a little. We'll be in Mexico before they can put the law on us. They won't find the motor home, and they won't find us. Well, that's it.
Want the rolls? It's really great, Mr. Dan. Yeah, what kind of country are you from? I'm from Kansas. Kansas? Yeah. Wow. 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 You, you know, I think that, uh, that, that nigger, that weirdo, he tried to break into the gun cabinet. Well, I wish we'd have been here. Hey, too bad you missed him, Molly. Would have been just like Nam. What exactly did you guys do in Vietnam? Well, we, uh, used to map lots of jungle trails, you know, uh, made maps and stuff. Yeah, six of us guys would just kind of get together and scout the countryside. <laughs> Uh, how far north did you get? I found. I found. Good Lord, that's that's in North Vietnam. That's right. How um how'd you get out? A ship. An American ship in Hai Phong, that's ridiculous. No. Russian. That's even more ridiculous. I know. Bruce, why don't you tell Mary what we really did? Sure thing, Ollie. I'm proud of you. All six of us were airborne rangers. Special forces trained. We graduated Rikondo School and spent time with the Royal British Jungle Tracking School in Malaysia. All of us were HALO trained. We were the best trained jungle killers in the world. And that man was our leader. Only well, was no mercy over there. It was kind of brutal to me. It was. Is that true, son? <sighs> you should be proud of that. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Let him go. She's got all the brave knocked out of him. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I thought being raised on a ranch was the greatest thing in the world. It still is. Yeah. How's Lucky been? Was sick this winter, but Doc's got him fixed up pretty good now. Yeah, you can tell. Dora, things are different now. It's all right now. Dora, I'm telling you things are... Only you're the most decorated man in the state. I mean, nobody could ask you to do any more. You know, when I was a kid, we used to use horses. Or well, at least a little. But everything's mechanized now. Cut and dry. It's all right in front of me. Every time, it's all right there. You'll get over it. It'll pass. Yeah, I guess so. Hey. Hey what? Let's go to a party. You go. No, I mean a private party. All right. She would wish we could use horses more. Oh, 
94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, less than twelve, thirteen, fifty-six. Hi. Hi. Oh, excuse me. Hi. Hi. Just being neighborly. Oh, hi. We want your comfort. What? Your comfort. We want your comfort. Yeah, I certainly do like your uh, wagon. Yeah. Hey, what's it like working with the carnival? Well, I don't want to set up milk bottles all my days, you know. A man's home is his castle. You'll have to fight me first. Ah! 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 That's pretty good. I want you to go call a cop or something. Never! Am I not, Parrish? No, he's, he's all right. Dumb is dumb. What are we going to do then, Prophet? Let's just go, man. We've got to stick together on this. What are we going to do? Big Jack, what do you say? I say we don't need no evidence. <laughs> Look, Mama, let's go. I mean, nobody's going to know nothing. Don't be stupid. Done. Get Beetle. Big Jack, do it fast. No, man. But let's do it and get it over with, for Christ's sake. <laughs> what other choice do we have? None. All my life it's been like this. Never a chance. Come on, Big Jack, get the beetle. Jesus. This is going to be a beautiful day. It's too bad your friends have to go back. Uh, yeah. You got any aspirin? <laughs> you sure were enjoying yourself last night. <laughs>
you do this all the time? I like to keep in shape. But this is your vacation. I've been on vacation since I got back to the States. Well, look, even if you're not tired, I am. Okay, we'll rest a while. Oh, great. Oh. Oh. Bruce? What happened over there, anyway? Ollie doesn't like to talk about it very much. Ollie was the best we had. He kept us all alive. Sometimes the best pushed too hard. You must have been good, too. We were all good. We were a team. A six-man team. In the jungle. We could move through a company of our own infantry without them ever knowing we were there. Oh. Yes, we were good. We had to be. Aren't you glad it's over? I suppose so. Sure. Sure, I'm glad. Well, at least if I ever get into trouble, I'll know whom to call. Guess that's what I'm good at. 24-hour service, anytime. I bet you say that to all the girls. No more than uh, one or two a day. Uh, hey, Oli's the one that's got away with the girls. You should have seen him on R&R. &R. <laughs> you really like Oli, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I do. How do you think he's doing? Oh, he'll be OK. He just needs time. The doc said you can't pamper. Hi. Hi. Hi there. Hey, hey. You going our way? Yeah, I guess so. Mary's about had it. Hey, I was keeping up just fine. Getting a little exercise, Mary? <laughs> and there were you last night. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, I'm going to go change my clothes. Come on, Dora. Okay. Holy. Come here a minute. Man, your father's as strong as a horse. Yeah, I know. Uh, Holy, um, a Badger's Hardware's got that flyer that we ordered. I, I wonder if you could pick it up today. Sure, Dad. Hey, hey, Oli, let's uh, show your father some of those self-defense techniques you taught us in the Army. You know, all that Apache attack stuff. No, he's, he's seen it all. No, 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 go ahead, son. Uh, it's too hot for that sort of thing. Okay. Okay. That's the way you want to be. Okay, but don't say I didn't ask. Oh, yeah. Sit down a minute, huh? You know I don't understand all that psychiatric mumbo-jumbo. I'm a rancher, right? That's what I know. It, well, it's just that I... Well, I mean, we all want to be proud of you. And, and, and sometimes I, I, I don't know what to think. What do you want me to do, Dad? Stand up for what's yours. Don't let people push you around. Sometimes I feel as though you don't care what other people think. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, I think I understand. Sorry, is that all there? Not quite. <laughs> you wanted to cool off? Well, cool off, you did. <laughs> now, Oli. Now, take it easy, Oli. Now, now, I don't want to hurt you none. Remember, you said it was too hot a day. I don't want to get you all sweaty or anything. Now, Louie, don't you do anything rash. Hey. You 
case. Yes! Yes! See you boys later, huh? Hey, big boy. Let me see you smile. <laughs> you want some more? No, I'm sorry. Right. Oh. Try and have a little patience with old dad. Hmm? He's so proud of you. And doesn't understand what you've been through. I guess none of us really do. I'll be all right, Mom. Oh, I know that, darling. But I worry about you. I guess I always will. Need a more now that you're home. Well, we gotta get along. I wanted you to have this. It's a company flag. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah. It'll go real well in that room you're fixing up. We know how you are about collecting souvenirs. Anyway, it's just a present from all the guys. Thanks a lot. Hi. Hi. Got everything? Hope so. Well, look, Ollie, we really got to be going. Thanks for everything. It's been great. You're welcome anytime, Lyle. You too, Bruce. Bye bye. Have a good trip. Bye bye, darling. Come back now. Yes. Oh, we sure will. We're going to have that tire ready for your dad tomorrow. Okay. Fill her up, huh? Yeah. Okay. And guys, uh, buddies of yours from the Army, huh? That's right, good. Uh -huh. We heard you did real good over there. 
Hey, listen, we got a special on Firestones this week. Now, nah, just fix this for you, guy. Uh, how's, um, things been going for you since you got back home? No, they're okay. Here you go. You put the tire charge in there with you. Tire charge. figured out these new credit things yet. Yeah, put it up, man. Oh, thanks, Bertie. Come on, man. 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 I never did believe all those things about you and all that stuff about the Army. Yeah, all right, all right. Just keep your pants on, will you? No, no, I, I mean, I, I believed all that stuff about, you know, you and the medals and all that. Well, I just never believed all that stuff about you being sick and all. I mean, I just know that. That ain't true. Come on, man. Go on. Come on. Here you go. Why don't you go see real soon. Oh, hey, that's really great. You know that's okay with me. Mm. 
Mm. Prof, man, we run into this gas station. Six big army dudes, man, with that mm. Billy Club. I told him, right? Yep, he told me. Man, I just got to get this glass out. Mm. It'll be all mm. right. It might hurt a bit. How's my nigga? Sit stomping, motherfucker, man. Right on. Anybody know who got Perry? Yeah, a big blonde guy with a red jeep. You know something? I, I don't know what this is. I don't want that kind of trouble. So neither do I. Yeah? Okay. There's only one guy that could do something like that. Who? Holy Hand. That ranch you were at, you, you remember. The metals. I'll take care of him when the time comes. No. Come on. He isn't worth bothering about. I hear he's quick. Real quick. Uh, ain't nobody quicker in profit. You weren't around when he fought the big D. Remember that, Parrish? <laughs> Most I could do. It's only but bad. No mercy, man. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. I'll get it. I got it, got it. Come on, leave it alone, man. I'm okay, man. Hey, man, we're gonna be all right. Get another hot car. Look, I'm sick and tired of this nigger lackey bullshit. No more cars. You know that bank in town? Well, it's full of carny money. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When Dunn and I were at this ranch, well, we saw something you wouldn't believe. This dude has enough guns to equip an army. Now, we're going to get him, and we're going to use him. I don't know, man. I've got it all planned. Prophet, that's crazy. And that hand wrench don't mess with only hands. Well, what is it with you? Are you in love with him or something? Hell no. Look, it's just old man hand is crazy, and Ollie's even worse. Look, I can handle myself. That's one thing I can really do. Now, we're going to get those guns, and we're going to hit that bank. Right? You can't. Look, that, that, that's really insane. Somebody could get killed. Okay. What is it? What else is there? Nothing. We're going to get those guns, and we're going to hit the bank. Now, are you with us or not? I can't do that. Please, let's just go. No way. Please. Got to. <laughs> it's you who put us here.
Pretty tall. Most of us just came back. You knew what 
was going on up there, didn't you? I don't know. I guess so. God damn it, son. You, you gotta fight for what's yours. You tell me. Right now. How's it gonna be? I don't know! Then you get the hell out of here till you figure it out! Yeah. Yeah, 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 come on. You, you come on and try me. Come on. Come on, try me. That's it. Game of horse, Polly? No, I don't think so. I will have another beer. Then. Beer, huh? Yeah. And how about a bag of them nuts? You know it's on me. Right. Hope you'll be stopping in more often. Probably will. Good. Help keep the riffraff out of here. Really? No, really. We're getting some pretty rough-looking customers in here, what with the carny and all. That's trouble, huh? Oh, I, I wouldn't say that. I keep my nose clean. But some of these guys look like they're after more than just fun. Uh, as I was saying, no, no real trouble. Get your beer, Tom? No, no, not now. Coke will be fine. Well, how you doing, buddy? Hey, uh, listen. Oh, thanks, Ed. Uh, Ed, uh, you might as well stay here. You're gonna hear this anyway. I understand you had some trouble out at your place. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, well, we had to bring your dad in for a statement. We're gonna have to get one from you, too. I want to get this mess cleaned up just as soon as possible. I don't know anything about it. I, I do wish you'd be a little more cool. bothers you, doesn't it, Tom? Relax. Relax, old lady. I'm trying to cause any trouble. I know things can get out of hand. I was, uh... I was out at Farber Station. This tells me that you and your friends got into a little mix-up. Tom, believe me. I don't want any trouble. I knew that only, but... Well, what with your training and just getting out of the hospital, I... Some people might just get a little nervous. Just what are you saying, Sheriff? No offense meant, totally. No offense. You just think about it, okay, buddy? Ed. I was taken right after that boy was killed. You recognize him? I don't recognize that. Yeah, you seen any of the guys he hung around with? Carney people, mostly. Tall, colored man. Sally Hendricks been seen with him, I understand. They've been in for a beer. What do you know about him? Absolutely nothing. Well, thanks, Ed. If, uh, if you see him, you get a hold of me. They could be in a lot of trouble. I'll, I'll do that, Tom. Stop down to my office here. Yeah? I don't want no trouble, that's for sure. Neither do I. I'd appreciate it if you kind of watch out for things around here. There's nothing I can do, Ed. I know better than that. I've got some friends that might be able to help you. 
right up their alley. Bring it down. Bike. I kind of left that behind. You and the boys still running cars? Yeah. And a few other things. Why? You and Parrish want back in? No. I got something else going. Interesting. You need a little disturbance in town. Got all the firepower a man could need. Big deal. What for? To hit the bank. <laughs> It'll be easy. All the townies will be at the carnival. Just keep the sheriff busy. It'll be a piece of cake. No one gets hurt. What's in it for me? A quarter. Half. <laughs> Third. Shit. Hey. That's better than what you got going now. You got a payroll to meet. Right. Maybe. We'll meet at the Hand Ranch afterwards. What are we going to meet at some ranch for? It's rangeland. Border is Mexico. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. Holy hand. Killed the best friend I ever had. Or he's dead.
Okay, that's far enough. Now, you just clear out. Who's going to make us, Sheriff? You? I don't know what the hell you are doing here, but I don't want no trouble. Now, I heard you were coming, and it's no good. We're just out for a ride. Yeah, well, you just might as well get right back in them vehicles and just start moving along. I see you didn't learn your lesson the last time, Greaseball. So, you're still around here, huh? That's right. We're around. That's nice. like you guys come prepared. That's right. That's good. But we come prepared, too. seen one of these babies before? Fun time. Checking. I think uh, checking makes it better. You know? Better for quick withdrawals.
I spent 50 years of my life to hear you say it doesn't matter anymore. No, sir. Not in my house. It's like looking into a black box. You know something's there. But you're afraid to touch it. Because if you did, You don't want to lose your... Well, for, for Christ's sake, what the hell does that mean? What the hell are you talking about? That's crazy talk! Look, there's nothing wrong with you. You, you got your arms, you got your legs, you can see. You've done nothing wrong. Get your head out of this goddamn box. Carry you and your whole fucking family for what you've done to Purse. Shut up. Where's that big, tough, hot shot son of yours? I got no son. Well, that's too bad. Fucker! 
said to you. No, I lost half the guys I know. It's not me, it's him. I got the word from a certain very scared bartender. Probably inside with his sister. Waste this fucking place.
you, you wouldn't. Countryside, the scars of war have opened up again and kindled up an age old flame that's burning in the wind. Flashback to a metal picture framed in dark old red. You can't forget the living while remembering the dead. Wave your medals in the wind before a plastic crowd. And Forget who died to win them, though their silence speaks so loud. The battle's just beginning, though the war's already won. Outside a puzzled father, inside a worried son. Keep reliving while you're living, and reliving all the dead. Not existing in a present time, but yesterday instead. 